Good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to all the courageous uh, people who got up early uh, this morning, like me. <laughs> In fact, uh, I'm not surprised because uh, we are going to see, I think, a very interesting and uh, very instructive presentation by uh, Professor Jim Carroll. Um, Professor Jim Carroll was born in China. He graduated from the National University of Defense Technology in China. And then he received his master's degree from the National Institute of Applied Science in Sao de Lyon. His PhD in constraint programming from the University of Franche-Comté and the professorship diploma, HDR, from the University of Science and Technology of Montpellier. <clears throat> He has been an associate professor at the National High Engineering School, Ecole des Mines d'Alès, and head of the Constraints and Heuristics Research Group until 1999. Since this date, he uh, is a full professor in computer science at the University of Angers. <coughs> Hello? In the year 2015, he was nominated as senior fellow of the Institut Universitaire de France. He was the director of the Leria Laboratory during 12 years in Angers. His work is about search algorithms and methods for solving large-scale complex combinatorial problems. He is especially interested in meta-heuristics and hybrid approaches combined with machine learning and data mining techniques. He has supervised and worked on several real-world applications, and he has initiated a number of large academic projects. He is involved in several international collaboration programs, in particular with China, Canada, United States, and so on. His work has been recognized by several awards, and it includes more than 300 peer-reviewed publications in international journals, book chapters and conference proceedings in the fields of meta-heuristics, evolutionary computation, combinatorial optimization, bioinformatics, constraint programming, and artificial intelligence. Today, his talk will focus on the unconstrained binary quadratic optimization problem. It's a general model which can be used for many optimization problems, such as graph coloring and so on, which has numerous real life applications. For about uh, an hour and a quarter, I think, okay. Professor Chinkao will present us some recent advances in meta heuristic algorithm for solving these well known NPR problems. So now, up to you. Thank you, thank you very much, Professor. Uh, Professor is a teacher uh, in human protection. So now you. You know, uh, every every people about me. <laughs> uh, so I, uh, as uh, as I said before, so I'm a computer science uh, professor in Angers. Uh, we are a small group of researchers uh, working on uh, solving uh, complex combinatorial optimization problems. So uh, the main tools we we use uh, concern uh, concern mainly uh, meta heuristics. Uh, but also, we, uh, when it's needed, we also call for uh, mathematical programming tools and uh, machine learning uh, techniques. Uh, so uh, we we work uh, on the one hand uh, on uh, classical um, MP hard problems, uh, many problems in uh, in graphs like uh, coloring, uh, independent sets, uh, and so on. Uh, meanwhile, we are also interested in some practical applications. Uh, in the past, we uh, have worked in collaboration with uh, some industrial partner in sectors like uh, health care, transportation, um, um, and mobile radio uh, net networks. <laughs> so uh, we uh, have developed a number of uh, algorithms for these uh, MP hard problems and these applications. Uh, today, uh, so uh, so my, uh, my English is not uh, very fluent, so I, <laughs> I, I try to speak slowly and I try to make me understandable. Okay, so uh, 
today I will focus on, <coughs> on uh, a general NP hard problem. Uh, so this problem is uh, uh, is becoming uh, popular. Of course, this problem has been studied for a long time, uh, for many years. Uh, this problem is becoming uh, more popular than before because um, many researchers in the uh, in the fields of uh, quantum computing are uh, using these problems uh, as one of the reference problems. So uh, I think uh, so this is also the main the main topic of this uh, conference. Uh, so I have chosen to to present some some studies we have done in the past, um, but also uh, very 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 recent study uh, we are we are doing uh, since one or two years uh, on this on um, on constraint binary uh, <coughs> optimization. Uh, so this. Uh, uh, the, the studies I will present uh, have, have been uh, jointly uh, performed with a number of uh, collaborators. Um, so you have their name on the slides here. <coughs> so I will uh, follow this uh, outline. So I will uh, introduce the, the problem uh, first, and then I will uh, give a brief memory, uh, a brief uh, overview of several representative early major heuristic algorithm. And then I will focus on some representative uh, meta heuristics uh, developed in the past uh, years. Okay. Uh, so for, for this part, I will uh, basically present four uh, solution techniques. Uh, so uh, the presentation uh, has two purposes. So the first one, of course, is to give you some Idea, ideas about some uh, effective algorithm, particular algorithm for this particular problem. I mean, this particular problem. This is a, a very general model, as I I will uh, explain uh, next. And uh, also, you have also another talk, another related talk. I think tomorrow or, or after tomorrow about the um, the usefulness of this. Uh, problem as a general model to formulate many, many different uh, uh, different uh, classical problems and uh, application. So uh, you may talk about, I will focus on solving techniques. So you have another talk on the, on the reformulation of other problems uh, by this, uh, by this UP, uh, uh, unconstrained binary, unconstrained uh, binary, uh, binary. So, uh, so the purpose is to give you some ideas, kind of idea about some algorithms for this problem. And another another purpose is to, uh, I hope at least, to give you some more general ideas uh, in order for you to, to use or to apply, to adapt uh, the ideas you will say to other, other applications, to other uh, combinatorial optimization problem. So, 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 so this is a, uh, these two, two, two purposes of the, the talk. So let's uh, recall uh, the definition of the problem. So the definition is very simple. So we are given a, a n and a n, and by n matrix of constant, of course, the constant value here may be negative or positive. So we want to, we want to uh, optimize this uh, quadratic function, okay, here. In fact, this problem can be defined as a maximization problem, as you see here. But it, in the, in a, a equivalent manner, we can define this problem as a minimization problem. So it's strictly equivalent. So in, in, in the talk I read, this is ma uh, maximization version of the problem. Uh, so as you see here, so you have you have uh, this value Q A I when both variables are taken. When both variables taking the value one, so this uh, this is a double sum uh, to to have the uh, the two values of all variable x and uh, joint values q i g with uh, every uh, i and g. Okay, so this uh, this problem can be also regarded as a uh, graph partition, a particular graph partition a problem. So uh, for this, we will use 
every element on the on the diagonal of the matrix to define a node. So for the matrix n by one, n, n by n, we will have a n, we will have a graph with n vertexes. Okay, so of course this this each work. Each node will have a weight. The weight is just the value QII. Now, for every every element in the matrix IG, if the IG value is non-zero, we will have an edge between two nodes. Okay, this edge is also weighted, so with the value KIG. Okay, so this problem, the matrix can be represented as a graph. So now the optimization objective of the quadratic function can be redefined as just as the problem finding, uh, to find a partition of the nodes to two groups, zero, zero, and one. And the goal is to find such a partition that the value, all the values, the weight, node weight, and the edge weight in the partition one is the sum, the sum of all these values is maximized. So, so, so we, can, we can have also this visual uh, presentation of the, uh, this, this problem. Uh, another, another way to see this problem is to consider this problem as a sub-selection problem. So you have a number of atoms and atoms in our case, we want to select among these atoms a subset atoms such that uh, the selected atom, the width and the width, uh, the selected atom, but also the joint, uh, uh, pairwise width, all this, all this width, the sum of this width is, is maximum. So this, this problem is very general, is very general. Uh, of, of course, when I say we can consider this problem as a sub-selection problem, we can use a binary vector to represent to present a candidate any candidate solution. So in our case, for example, we have this solution, this, this partition, this solution can be easily represented by this vector. So we have select variable two, variable four, and variable six. Okay, this uh, this nodes. Okay. Uh, so uh, this model is uh, very general and it can be can be used to formulate, reformulate many uh, popular and hard problems, and uh, also a wide range of application problems. So in the next talk and in another talk, uh, you will see many examples of this, this kind of formulation. Uh, as I said, this, this, this model is becoming very popular uh, due to the fact that people working on quantum computing uh, are using this model regularly as a reference problem. Okay, uh, so it's no surprise that uh, there have already many methods, many solution method proposed for this problem. Uh, so here are some example of early meta heuristics, including taboo search, simulated annealing, evolutionary algorithm, and a multi uh, local search. So every review. Uh, rapidly, uh, some representative example uh, in, this, uh, in this area. So the first one of the first uh, couple search is a strategic oscillation type of search, uh, which alternates between two phases. So a phase to set variable to one and another phase to uh, set variable to zero. So we will alter this uh, two phases, and uh, this algorithm has been tested. Uh, to uh, with, on instances with up to uh, 500 variables. And another uh, top search uh, algorithm has been proposed also, uh, which starts from all uh, zero solution and uh, examine all one non tapu moves. Uh, this algorithm has been tested to with, uh, with on instances with up, with up to 2,500 variables. Uh, in this work, uh, the first set of benchmark uh, instance have been proposed also, and uh, this, this, uh, these benchmarks are part of the over, over lab. Uh, this uh, instance, in particular, the 10 largest instances, this was uh, 
2,500 variables are very uh, popular. And so this, in both case, we use this uh, move operator, the one flip operator, which just uh, change the value of a variable to its complementary value. This is also the most popular variable used by every uh, uh, algorithm, almost all the algorithm for this problem, but also for many, many binary optimization problem. Uh, of course, similar, uh, similar annealing has been also applied. So we, you have here uh, three examples. Uh, they are very similar. Uh, they differ only, for example, uh, in the way we change the temperature so using how to use uh, a cooling schedule. Uh, so it's uh, all this uh, uh, some other report, uh, other similar. Uh, also, there are uh, several evolutionary algorithms. Uh, this algorithm basically use a crossover uh, operator com combined, uh, combined with uh, uh, with some local search. Uh, typically, the uniform crossover is used because this operator is uh, is um, to some extent meaningful for the problem. Uh, some particular uh, crossover have all been have been also proposed, uh, I will not uh, go to detail uh, to this uh, uh, specific uh, crossover. So in all these studies, uh, they very often they have, uh, they have been tested on the, on the set of benchmarks proposed early. Uh, so uh, a little bit, uh, a little later, uh, uh, several several multi local search algorithms have been proposed. So this uh, the basic idea is to use a couple search to find high quality solutions and and uh, and repeat this process. Okay, repeat this process with uh, different uh, starting uh, starting solutions. Uh, so this also has proposed a number of uh, variant to generate uh, different initial solution, and it also propose. Uh, Iterated couple search, uh, which will reuse the previous local optimum solution uh, to run uh, the next round of couple search. Of course, be, be, before running the next uh, the next couple search, we will change on the, the last uh, local optimum solution by some uh, by some local moves uh, called uh, computation. Uh, so in this work, they uh, they propose uh, a specific way to to, to make changes uh, to the last local optimum solution farm. Uh, this, this algorithm, this algorithm uh, 2006 is one of the best uh, uh, algorithms until uh, 2010. And also in, in this work, they, uh, he introduced another set of large instances with uh, 307, uh, uh, 3,000 to 7,000 variables. So you have also some some information about uh, the pretty, uh, the details of this incident. This. Uh, so I will I will now move to move on to uh, some Okay. So so from the end of eighties uh, and beginning of two thousand. Uh, several new meta heuristics have been proposed. So in uh, in the following, I will I will show you uh, four uh, four methods. So okay, uh, so I will uh, begin with uh, uh, diversification driven taboo search, and then I will pr present you hybrid genetic taboo search, and then I will uh, present uh, a path relinking algorithm, and finally I will. Uh, say some words about uh, very new new methods uh, using uh, massively parallel computing uh, facilities. Uh, so everyone, uh, because you have followed uh, the tutorial <laughs> uh, of yesterday, so I will I will skip this uh, this slides. I will say some words about this uh, particular taboo search algorithm. So this algorithm is uh, characterized by by the use of three types of memory, uh, we will use um, a memory called Ellis, uh, Ellis solution to store a set of high quality local optimum solutions. And we will also use another memory uh, 
uh, called LHA frequency uh, to record the total number of times uh, each variable is assigned a value one in this uh, high quality solutions. And uh, uh, another memory called flip frequency uh, record the number of times a variable has been has been changed uh, during the search. We will use all this information to guide the search process in particular to create uh, uh, informed uh, uh, publication procedure. So here's the, the general uh, general procedure. We start with an uh, initial solution and we optimize this solution with, with a basic tapu search and we will uh, update uh, the memory early solution and we will uh, random select a solution in this pool and we will change the solution by uh, informed procedure using uh, the three kind of memories I mentioned before and we will restart on the process. So until a uh, precondition is made. Uh, so in this, uh, in this algorithm, the, the lo local improvement is ensured by basic uh, Apple search. So it's just to, to make flip moves at each iteration, we will change the value of one variable from uh, one to zero or from zero to one. Here you have an example. So we change the value of variable three from zero to one. So we have a new solution from this solution. Uh, we use also a very simple uh, uh, tuple technique, so a tuple trainer, uh, to record the flipped variable in order to not uh, repeat this uh, uh, this uh, move uh, during the next uh, a number of uh, uh, next iterations. So, so obviously, very very standard and very very simple. Uh, the main idea of this algorithm is uh, um, is the scoring uh, mechanism. So using the memories I have mentioned before, we will create a function to, to, measure, uh, to measure the quality, uh, to measure the, so the quality of each, each variable. And then we will choose among uh, all the variables, a certain number of highly scored variable for the population. Okay, so the basic, the basic idea is, is, uh, is uh, it's very simple. Uh, so here, it's, uh, the, the rational uh, is these two points. So a variable which always reserves the same value, uh, zero or one, in the high quality, uh, um, uh, in, in the high quality solutions in the memory elite uh, should have little chance to be changed. Okay, because these variables forms in some, in some sense a kind of backbone. So we will keep this, we will, we will try to not uh, change this. Uh, on the other hand, a variable that is uh, seldom changed uh, should have a high flip probability to favor uh, uh, the div uh, diversification. Uh, so we also have a mechanism to update the early solution uh, because uh, during the search, Better solution can be found. We will store this solution uh, in the pool. Okay. Uh, so this algorithm has been tested on some on some benchmark instances. I will, I will not uh, uh, stay uh, spend too much time on on, on on this. I I just want to say that uh, at the moment of uh, publication of this algorithm, uh, this algorithm has found the three uh, new best. Uh, new, uh, new, new, new best bound uh, for for three instances. Okay. Uh, now I move to the second algorithm uh, called hybrid meta heuristic algorithm. Uh, we also use the name genetic uh, taboo search, uh, or um, in recent years we use also the name mimetic um, <laughs> algorithm. So all this. Uh, um, is the same things. So the so main idea is to to combine uh, local optimization, uh, for example, taboo search with a uh, population based framework uh, to favor a suitable balance between uh, intensification and diversification. So the key issues to be considered in this case is uh, how we do local optimization, how we use uh, the crossover, uh, and how we manage the population. This is the key three key issues uh, we must consider. 
So uh, in our case, for this problem, uh, UBQP, uh, we will use uh, the basic double search I mentioned before. And uh, uh, we, we, we create a specific, uh, some kind of specific uh, diversification driven uh, crossover. Uh, and we use also uh, uh, um, a strategy based on quality and distance to manage the poor. The population, if you like. So here is the, the general uh, procedure. So we begin with a, a set of solutions. So uh, random generated solutions, and we will we will impose the quality of these solutions and uh, each each solutions, and uh, to obtain a poor a population of high quality solutions, which are all local optimal solutions. And then we will randomly choose two solutions and uh, to make a, a a crossover. Okay. Uh, it's crucial where we generate one or more uh, offer, offspring uh, solutions, and these solutions will be improved for the improved by the local search procedure. In our case, Apple search, and we will update the population with the improved new solution, and we will repeat the process. So this scheme, this procedure is a very very general and a very standard uh, for uh, genetic uh, local search average or genetic search. So the key issue here is, as I said before, how do we do uh, block optimization and how do we make crossover? Uh, so in our case, we have uh, defined uh, a crossover based on the notion of uh, distance. So I will, uh, I will not go to detail, just to, to say that we will use uh, a score, scoring function uh, to, to measure the importance of each variable, and we will, based on this, 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 this note, this score, we can define a distance between two, two solutions. Uh, of course, we can use traditional crossovers uh, found in genetic algorithm, so one point, two point uh, in particular. Uh, but in this case, uh, we will understand that uh, this kind of uh, crossovers are too disruptive uh, and it uh, doesn't really allow to transmit uh, good uh, properties of the problem to the off offspring uh, solutions. Uh, another crossover we can use is a uniform cro crossover. So uniform crossover uh, will allows, uh, 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 allows us to, to keep the shared values of true solutions. For example, in this case, uh, we have in this example, all, all, the, all the values unique and in in, in red are shared by the parent. And this, these values are automatically uh, kept uh, in, in the off, off, offspring. Uh, for the other uh, variables, uh, a random value will be taken. So uh, this uh, crossover is meaningful uh, to some extent uh, for the, uh, U, uh, for the uh, UB QP problem. Uh, however, this problem uh, has uh, a risk uh, that after the the the, the, the crossover, uh, if we apply uh, our uh, local optimization to optimize the offspring solution, is a risk that the optimized solution will become uh, one one uh, one of the parents because these solutions are strong uh, attractor. So. So, so, so we have we have this, this kind of this kind of risk. Uh, so we uh, in the in the algorithm DTS we developed, we have uh, imagined another another uh, diversification guided crossover, uh, which is a uh, improved uh, in some kind a uniform curve of crossover. So the first step is to 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 do like uniform crossover to keep all the shared values. But for the, for the other variables, we will use some specific strategy to, to, to assign values. So uh, this, uh, this specific uh, strategy will use the distances, uh, the measure of the distance that uh, I introduced before. Okay. So the basic idea is to, so the basic idea is to, to have Uh, 
uh, of, of, of uh, a new solution, of string solution, not too close to either of the parents, I believe, somewhere between, between the parents. Okay. Okay, we look at also a poor updating uh, strategy uh, based on, on, on quality, but also distance to update the population. The idea is to have in the population only high quality solutions, point one, and point two, that solutions of the population are all enoughly distanced, so not similar. Uh, so, so in this case, we can, when we want to cross over, to make a crossover, we can pick two solution in the population we can run randomly. So, so this is a, a measure to have a high diversity in the population. Uh, so this algorithm has uh, has been tested again on uh, some benchmark uh, instances has uh, re reached a very good re results. So um, in fact, this is, okay. Okay, so I uh, I move on to the the third um, analysis for so the path linking. The path linking um, the main idea is to maintain a poor a poor like in a hybrid uh, algorithm a pool of high quality solutions. Uh, we will use the name RIFSET because this name is used in the methods the defining the methods. Uh, in these methods, from the set of uh, high quality solutions, we will create for each pair, for each pair in the pool, we will create a path of the solutions. Okay, the idea is that we have, we have two high quality solution taken from the pair. We will create new solution. These solutions. So with the constraint that each intermediate, each intermediate solution on the path has a this has a has a a, a smaller distance uh, compared to this solution. So this solution is called initiating solution, and this solution is called guiding solution. So we will create new solutions from the each inclusion uh, from each inclusion solutions to the guiding solutions is the concurrent that the distance between each solution with respect to this solution decreases. So the idea is that between these two high quality solutions, we want to we want to know if we have some other high quality other high quality solution between them. Okay, so this is the first the first point, and the second point is that from these solutions on a path. We will select some solutions and then to have further improvement. So typically, we will choose, for example, in the middle pass, in the middle pass or on the pass, we will select one or more solutions and to run again a local optimization in order to find other high quality solutions in this area. So this is the, the, uh, the particular feature of password making. Uh, usually, for each pair, it's I, it's T. We can we can make a a, a pass from from X I to X T. We can also make another uh, another pass from X T to X I. Uh, so we can make one pass or two pass. Okay. So this this is a basic it's a basic idea, and then. Uh, we have also, since we use a, a reference set, we, we, we need also a procedure to update uh, uh, this set. So you see some similarity between password linking and, uh, and the crossover, uh, but the password linking procedure is it's, it's more general uh, in some sense, uh, because here you can, generate, you can generate many solutions uh, while with the crossover you generate, you, you make uh, normally one or two solution, uh, new, uh, new solution. Okay. Uh, so um, I think I think I don't have enough time to go to go to detail. So you the main the main idea uh, I have already presented the, the main idea 
also linking and and um, uh, here you have uh, uh, we uh, okay okay I will uh, I will say our so how to how to how to create uh, a, a parse so we have a, a solution uh, so a starting solution initiating solution we will create a new solution on the pass. Typically, we make local local changes like one, three, two, three, or anything, anything like this. So with the constraint that the new solution should have a distance, should have a smaller distance compared to the, the guiding solution. So in this case, we typically we will don't change uh, the variable, the shared variables, because if you change the shared variable, you will increase the distance instead of decreasing. The distance. So typically, when we building when we build the uh, a path, we will uh, only change the values of variables that don't share uh, that, that don't share uh, the same value between the initiating solution and the guiding solution. Okay. So uh, in, on the slides, you have two two ways uh, to have to have yeah, two two ways to do this. Okay, uh, for local search, we have used also the basic taboo search. <coughs> okay, so uh, this algorithm is, uh, uh, according to the experimental assessment, this algorithm is uh, until until the moment, uh, I mean, until until today, I think, is, uh, is one of the best uh, algorithms for this problem yet. Okay, to, uh, so the last methods I will, uh, show you is a uh, is a massively parallel path linking uh, airline uh, search algorithm. Uh, so this uh, this uh, this work uh, performed very recently is not uh, published yet. Uh, so in this uh, algorithm, we have a very large population. Uh, typically, in genetic uh, uh, algorithm, we use a small population. Um, I mean, when we use a hybrid genetic algorithm, I think we use uh, a population of 20, 100 or something like this. Here we use a very large population, for example, uh, 16, 64,000 um, uh, uh, population. Because the population is divided, the organizer into subpopulation. We can call, we can also call this uh, island. So of size P. So in our case, we have uh, 64 uh, Iceland subpopulation, and each population, each subpopulation has 1,000 solutions. So at each uh, uh, generation of the algorithm, uh, we will apply a local search uh, methods, you know, his taboo search, to improve in parallel, uh, really in parallel, uh, all these solutions. Okay, uh, this can uh, we done this on uh, uh, this. Um, uh, the new computing facility GPU. Uh, so with this, we can the algorithm can explore simultaneously many areas in the in the large search space. And then in each subpopulation, so we have now two P uh, two P solutions. So the initial solution and the improved solution. So we will merge these two P solutions to obtain a new subpopulation with P uh, population. Uh, to do this, we use uh, quality and a distance uh, measure uh, uh, to be sure that not only the subpopulation is, uh, contains all, only high quality solutions, but also they are sufficiently uh, distances. Okay, each pair of solutions are sufficient to be distances to, to have uh, a high diversity. And each solution uh, then is is uh, randomly uh, matched with one of the closest neighbors in the subpopulation. And, uh, and uh, we depend on a pair. Okay. And, pair. and from this pair, we will apply, we will apply a path linking. So, so we will, we will repeat the process. Of course, the path linking, the, 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 the path, the, the P path linking, in our case, in our case, uh, 64,000 pass linking procedure can be done in parallel, totally in parallel. Okay, so with this improved solution, with all these solutions, we will update 
and the population to have a new population. Okay. So the subpopulations are organized uh, according to a, to a unidirectional, uh, unidirectional ring topology. So it's a very popular, it's a very known uh, in, in computing. Uh, and to each generation, we will also uh, propagate in some sense the best solution found at each uh, subpopulation. So each the uh, so M best solution of each subpopulation are uh, are sent to the to the next uh, to the to the next uh, uh, island uh, and to replace uh, the worst uh, solutions. Okay, this allow us to propagate during the search uh, continually the best solution found in the subpopulation. Okay, uh, so ever. Um, for local search, basically we use uh, a taproot search method with a one flip, uh, but also uh, a tailor uh, two flip uh, move. Okay, so uh, this uh, this methods uh, have found uh, uh, has allowed us to find some several uh, new best results uh, for several uh, very challenging uh, most part uh, instances. Okay. Uh, so I, I stop here. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. so um, so again, in fact, I almost finished. So, um, so after, of course, we we can have some some exchanges if you like. Okay, I, I, I in fact, I prefer. <laughs> A inter inter interactive mode than dimensional interactive <laughs> dimensional. Okay, no. uh, so um, to finish this part, I will talk about some additional uh, study bits. In in the previous uh, presentation, I focused on the van flip mode. Uh, in fact, the van flip mode, the van flip mode is the most popular and the most uh, effective mode. For binary problems, so that's why this operator, this this flip is always used. Uh, but generally, we can use uh, KP, KP, okay, two can be two or more. Of course, when we increase uh, K, the computation computational cost increase rapidly, more rapidly. Okay, with one flip, the uh, the number of neighbors uh, is n. Okay. This order of n, but when we do two flip in quadratic, okay, so it's a the number of neighbors very generally very increased very rapidly. So we must find techniques to reduce this com complexity. Uh, so yeah, yeah, in addition to the computational issues, when we have uh, more than one move up, well, more than one move operators. The next issue to consider is how to use these operators jointly. Okay. So in this uh, slides, uh, I will show you three, uh, three or four, uh, four possibilities. So the so first way we can we can use is to use this operator in a se uh, sequentially, but in a talking ring manner. So we apply the operator, for example, one flip until a local optimum is reached. And then we switch to the two, two, two flip operators. And we apply this until a local optimum is reached. And then we come back to the one flip operator. And we do this, we continue to do this until no improvement can be reached. So when we do this, we are using this in a working room. Okay, we can do this. And another way is to to to, uh, to consider this uh, two operator two operators uh, in a in a union way. So each operator will give you a a neighborhood. So after each iteration, instead of consider one neighborhood, we will consider the union of the two neighborhoods. Okay, by, by this we have a much larger neighborhood. Or in the case of one flip and two flip, at each iteration, I will consider all the flips, one flip and two flip, and I will make a choice. Okay, so this is the, the, 
the unit, neighborhood unit. And we can also uh, have a specific way in, to uh, what we call random or selective unit. So we have two neighborhoods or two operators. So the same, uh, we can introduce a parameter, okay, uh, probability to decide which operator we uh, apply at the card you know, the current iteration. So for example, if you keep, uh, if you take a, a probability of uh, zero five, so with equal probability, you at each <coughs> iteration, you use either the so one flip or two flip, okay, with the, the, with the same probability. Of course, you can turn the probability to, if you think one flip is more important, you can use um, a larger probability to apply uh, this one flip uh, operator and occasionally use the two flip. So you, you have this uh, flexibility uh, when you, when you uh, introduce this probability. Of course, you can also, for people who know uh, the variable neighbor who search, you can also use uh, two or more operators according to the, the method weakness. Okay. Uh, given that Rennes, uh is a, is a specific way, okay, specific way to use a number of um, um, uh, neighborhoods. Okay, so just to give you uh, an idea. For example, uh, at the, the P, P2TS algorithm based initially uh, used only the one flip operator. We also made some tests to, to use uh, uh, one, to campaign, to campaign one flip and two flip. And, uh, and we found that uh, with, with the union, with the union uh, operator, uh, this algorithm can um, improve, can, can improve uh, some, uh, some results, even they can report results even better than the hybrid, uh, hybrid search algorithm I presented before. So that shows that uh, multiple operator or multiple neighborhood search can, in some cases, can be uh, very effective. Okay, uh, so this issue is, uh, is also a key issue uh, to have uh, effective <coughs> network heuristic uh, algorithm. So this issue is a general issue. I mean, if you want to have a um, computationally effective or a good results with a meta answers, you must consider how to evaluate candidate solutions uh, for, uh, for, um, uh, for a given, uh, for a given uh, neighborhood. So the, the first uh, evaluation techniques have been developed for many problems, uh, for example, for the quadratic assignment problem. Eric has developed a very effective uh, evaluation technique have been taken by all researchers working uh, on this problem. And for the, for the one flip value, uh, move for binary variable of our binary problems, we have uh, similar techniques that we, we must use, we should use, we must not do. So the big idea is to, uh, to do, uh, let's see if you Okay, so the basic idea is to, uh, from the beginning, for the initial solution, we will calculate <coughs> from scratch all the move gain and uh, uh, objective function uh, variation for each possible move. And we will stop, we will, we will, we will, we will stop, we will record this uh, moves, this move scans in a data structure, for example, in a vector in our case. And then after each move, we will re Accurate only a small, a small portion. We will update only a small portion of this this vector. So, okay. So this is uh, the basic idea. Of course, according to the problem you consider, you must design on the way. I mean, on the way to how to up update uh, this memory. Okay. So in our case, for example, if we from this solution, and uh, to we make a flip, one flip, the variable three is split from zero to one, but it's a new solution. And the, 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 uh, the move again, as a move again can be, can be obtained only by this sum, so in constant time. Okay, so we can, we can do this kind of calculation uh, instead of 
we calculate everything from the beginning, we should apply, we, need, uh, we can apply this kind of incremental application to have a high efficiency. Okay, so uh, similarly for the true flip evaluation, we can we can do the same on uh, basically as the same because the two flip uh, mode can be considered as two sequential one flip mode. mode. Okay, so in that to do these two modes simultaneously, we can do one flip and one flip, and then we can apply again the fast evaluation technique we mentioned before. Okay, so, uh, so that's uh, what I want to say. So today's uh, the UBQT uh, in reality is a very general model, uh, which is able to form many practical applications and other problems. And uh, uh, there are a number of meta heuristic algorithms for this problem uh, that can be used Found um, uh, good quality, high quality solutions, uh, even for uh, large and very large uh, instances. Uh, and the main ideas uh, presented in the and as a way of to do fast evaluation and the way to create informed uh, propagation and using memory, using very uh, different kind of memory to create informed operators. You know, all these ideas are in fact uh, very general and it can be, can be adapted, can be applied to other, uh, yeah, other contexts, okay. Uh, in particular, uh, can, be, can be used to other <laughs> binary problems. And, uh, uh, so the last word, so uh, generally the success on, uh, uh, of a meta <coughs> methods depends on, on many factors, of course. Uh, in particular, it depends on a careful design of the search operators, local search operator, which kind of more operator you will use, and a, a crossover if you want to use a population-based algorithm, uh, what crossover we will use. And be careful for, for this because um, many people tend to apply standard uh, standard uh, crossover we found in genetic algorithm, uh, one point crossover and two points crossover, uniform point, why not? But uh, you need to consider to think about whether the crossover in, the, in your case or your problem is meaningful. I mean, you have two good solutions you want to mixed, you want to blend this two, two solution by a recombination. So a random uniform crossover, in this case, makes this two solution. Is it meaningful for your problem? In some cases, it's meaningful. In some, in some cases, it's not meaningful. So it's the same question for one point, two point crossover. So you have two good solutions. So cutting, make up a cutting point and exchange the two portions of the current solution, new solution is it meaningful for your for, for your objective function. So this is a question you, you must ask your, yourself. So if it's not meaningful, you need to think about you need to look for a meaningful uh, crossover mechanism to keep the the the, the um the backbone. The, I mean, uh, very often. Uh, some information shared by the parents. Uh, if they are shared by parents, you can consider that they share information for some reason to be indicated in the offspring. Of so this is a, a question you must uh, ask um, before applying uh, a crossover and then also as linking, et cetera. Uh, of course, uh, fast evaluation is uh, very important because very often we are given a time limit so you want to get a final result in minutes or in, in ten minutes. So if your algorithm is very slow, it's very long, very time consuming in ten minutes, you cannot do much iterations. If your algorithm cannot uh, do many many iterations, you cannot expect 
very good solution. So because the search space is very huge, a very difficult problem, you have a very huge search space. If you want to find good solutions, you need you need to sample, you need to sample your algorithm, you need to sample many, many solutions. Of course, this, the sampling should be informed, should not be random. But in any case, you need to, uh, it's, it's in our interest to be able to do many, many sampling for a given time. But here's this, we need fast evalu evaluation techniques to have a uh, high computational efficiency. Uh, also, uh, for for any algorithm, we, we, you need to find a balance of uh, intensification and diversification. So typically with a local search, we have already some kind of intensification, um, of search, or even a, um, a sample uh, high climbing, I mean, a decent procedure. You have already a capacity to, to intensify the search, but very often, if you have only this capacity, the algorithm will be, uh, will be trapped in local optimal. So one period to have an uh, effective algorithm to follow this diversity the search, diversify the search, diversify. Of course, you can do it randomly, but this is not necessarily the best way. So you need to find informed, inform your diversification by using information you can Collect during the search. Okay, so in my presentation, I show you we can memory, we can record uh, high quality solutions. We can use other memories, sending the number of the times a variable is, is a change, it's, it's, it's a change of value. Okay, all kind of memory information, useful information you can collect during the search uh, can be used. Can be you can take advantage of this information uh, to, to to create or inform uh, and for uh, informed uh, diversification. Um, okay. Uh, so finally, uh, for computer scientists, for computer scientists, we know that you know, data structures have for a given algorithm to have a uh, uh, efficient. Uh, implementation, we need to spend time on data structures because this data structure will impact uh, largely the computational efficiency. So this this issue is some is sometimes uh, ignored by some researchers. Uh, I think it's a, of course it's a basic problem, but it's also a very important basic problem. So we must not only we need to design search operators. Uh, now, if we want to have a computationally efficient algorithm, we must spend time uh, um, uh, on searching uh, the most uh, suitable data structures which uh, should allow us to make a fast computation or so. Okay, so that's, that's all. Uh, um let me make a presentation where we are Yeah, I have, I have a comment on, on two questions. Um, first, thank you very much for the presentation. I like it, the way you tackle the problem. And for all the PhD students, this is a lesson learned today. So you start to give a problem and you cover all aspects of the methodology you choose. Uh, so thank you for this uh, presentation. I have a question concerning the island model, and, and I would like to know what makes the difference in the island model compared to the rest of your search? So is there any particular points that makes make this model, island model, successful? Uh, so, so, so uh, the island model is not new. It's a, it's a new model, it's a long time I mean, uh, in the uh, in the area of uh, genetic ar algorithm, uh, people have have been uh, have applied this kind of model to parallelize the algorithm. So it's not new. Uh, in fact, in this uh, in the last work I, I, I presented, I think some, some okay. I, I cannot say how, how, 
the among all these components, it is this component has played the, the main core. I think it's a, a, a joint effect of all the uh, all these components. Uh, Ireland is one of these components. Mm -hmm. one of the components. Another another important uh, issue uh, component, I think, the the, the, the parallelism. So as I said before, uh, apparently in the literature, uh, there are many algorithms on mimetic computing. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, when we use uh, mimetic computing, because the local search is very time consuming. So people usually use a very reduced population, with several times, several ten solutions, one hundred solutions, no more and generally because when you have a very large population, competition time by increase uh, very fast. And so in our case, due to the use of a GPU, we can do many computation in parallel, of course, in parallel, and uh, it, I, uh, I, I didn't, I didn't think uh, another issue. In fact, in, in the algorithm, there is another issue is the notion of computation of distances between two solutions. We need to uh, calculate many distances because we want to match two solutions, find the best match between one solution and uh, another solution. To do this, we need to compute a distance. This is very com uh, very time consuming also. So we do this in parallel. So so the par parallelism in our case has allowed allow us to do many calculus, many computations not do results. Mm -hmm. And that's that's my second question. So uh, there is no super acceleration no, no, of the no. of the parallelism. No, no. Just no. That's no. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. that's a, that's the I subpopulation and each population has equal role. So there is no supervisor. Mm -hmm. The best solution of each subpopulation will be propagated to the next population and so on. Thank you. So it's, uh, so it's really interesting to, uh, because uh, the mimetic, uh, the hybrid algorithm, the pyrolinking, pyrolinking I presented uh, has been, has been designed uh, some time years ago, time before. Uh, so during this period, during this period, I didn't find any new algorithm beating this algorithm. Uh, and the benchmark instances, I didn't, I didn't say uh, new results. I see, I, I, I have seen, uh, I have seen several new results obtained by a, by, a, um, uh, by automatic. Um, I mean, uh, people using also. I didn't pre pre present this work, but also uh, there's also yeah. another interesting work, not sure complicated, I mean, uh, using automatic, uh, using uh, genetic programming techniques to, to automatically generate new algorithm, of course, based on existing algorithm. Uh, so there is a paper uh, called uh, two years ago, I think, uh, they presented uh, 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 algorithm says and they managed to find some new results. But their algorithm is very, very complicated because they use almost all this algorithm I presented before, uh, taboo search, uh, password limiting, uh, all these algorithms they, they meet together and uh, some learning techniques and we have some some uh, uh, discovering techniques to compare them. So I, I, I don't really which algorithm had played the, the usual, but altogether they managed to find several new results. But I, I didn't see any single algorithm um, using the, 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 the algorithm. So this uh, parallel, massive parallel algorithm managed to find a new, new, new results. So I think this is a, a, good, a, good, a good indicator to show that parallel computing can be a nice, uh, uh, a nice direction for future research. Thank <laughs> you for the opportunity. I'd like to ask about the parallelism processes, particularly when you choose the initial end guiding solution. Do you have any particular method to choose the initial or with end guiding solution, or you you only choose randomly in the elite set? Uh, 
the initial and the guiding solution. Uh, so in the in the case of password linking or yes, in the case of password linking that you okay. use. So so in the in the case of password linking, so the the initial population uh, is generated uh, uh, by applying local search, Apple search to some initial random solution. Okay, so you you take a random solution, you apply local search, so you obtain a high quality local optimal solution. So you put this in the pool. Okay, you do this a number of times. You fill up the pool. So this is a uh, in the in the case of uh, mimetic computing, uh, typically we do the same thing. Okay, so this by doing this, you have only the quality. Uh, in general, when we fill the population, we would also consider the diversity. Okay, if you have many solutions that are similar, it's no sense. Okay, so it's not good for evolution. So you need also consider. You, when you generate a new solution, when you put the solution in the population, you may check whether this solution is closed or not to any solution in the population. But for this, you need a distance. You need a distant measure. So the distant measure is also critical. So you can, you need consider for your problem. For example, you have a, you have a binary problem. Okay, having this can say, okay, now if you have if you work on the graph following problem, for instance, in this case, if you use, I mean, distance is nonsense. It's nonsense. So, because graph coloring is kind of grouping problem, you want to put some nodes in a stable, in an independent site. Okay. So, for this case, you have a graph theoretical measure. Which called transfer distance. So in this case, we will use transfer distance. If you have a competition problem, competition, um, TSP, uh, uh, quadratic assignment, in this case, you, you will consider a suitable distance for your problem. Okay, so in, in case you, you use a population, you need to consider not, not only quality, but you need also consider distance. If you have your population at these two features, and then to make a crossover, you can randomly pick two solutions because I know any pair solution are sufficiently distances. So you can you can pick two solutions randomly. That's fine. Have you had the opportunity to compare those best in class meta heuristic with quantum annulus? Uh, from the discussion, and no, uh, if not, yeah, do we have a yeah, yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm, I'm not. Uh, I, I have, have very limited knowledge in this area. I read some papers. In fact, in the area of quantum computing, uh, given that the com quantum computer today uh, is uh, is still very, um, I mean, it's not a, a general computer. Okay. Uh, they, they have they have they have the the instances they used in in these studies a small size for example they cannot they cannot deal with uh instances I show here with with several thousand variables if I maybe I run I think with D wave it can go up to twenty thousand variables so seems to be interesting to, to compare classical versus quantum solution. Yeah, for example, uh, collectors in the United States, uh, uh, Harry, uh, Harry Kottenberger and Fred Glover, they are working with people working in this area. Uh, I, I I didn't hear any 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 new results. I mean, uh, I, I, um, maybe I'm wrong, but I think there is no, um, no, no breakthrough. I mean, in in in, uh, uh, in, uh, in the computation results. Maybe this uh, the common computer can be applied to um, to large scale. Uh, to large scale uh, problem, but I I don't know the quality. 
maybe yeah. if I there, I've uh, uh, spoken with uh, Gary uh, ah, okay, six okay. months ago, okay. and he, he told me that okay, they tried uh, to run that on a quantum computer, but uh, that was still not uh, better than uh, these uh, classical uh, ways yeah. of, uh, yeah. of solving mm. for the moment. Yeah, but, yeah, for, uh, for, for, for the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it will be yeah. it, it will change uh, soon, but I don't know. Uh, yeah. yeah, I know that there are some some more and more people working in this area. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they, 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 they use uh, uh, this problem as a as a main reference problem. So maybe in several years, uh, they will they will, they will be able to <laughs> break all the records uh, we have today. Uh, but this is not the case today yet. Uh, or, or of course, if uh, quantum computing um, can, can progress uh, it's there every day, maybe in 10 years, in five years, I don't know, maybe quantum computing uh, will found uh, uh, excellent uh, solutions for, <laughs> for our NP hard problem. <laughs> so in this case, uh, we will change a uh, job. <laughs> What's the question? Yes. Uh, is there any open source implementation of all these meta heuristics that you mentioned today? No, I cannot, I cannot. Do you have open source yeah. implementations of meta heuristics that you talked about today? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, you you are talking about uh, the the source card said. For instance, the password linking algorithm. Ah, okay. Do you have um, yeah, in fact, uh, since several years, I mean, since, since, since 10 or 15 years now, we, uh, we, we publish almost all our course on uh, internet. But for this, for, for the password linking uh, card, we didn't uh, publish it. But if you are interested, I can send you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Well, first of all, thanks again for such a nice overview of binary optimization. Yes, thank you. I was curious because in the taboo search, one of the taboo search methods that you talk about, the one that you call D2TS. Okay, so there you have like a memory for elite solutions, and then you have these to record the frequencies about the number of times that one of those good solutions affects the value one, which seems like a, I mean, sensible thing to do. My question is related also with this thing of the um, how to store things, because when you record the elite solutions, are you recording explicitly the values for all the variables? Because you are solving huge instances there. So my, my point yeah. is, no. if you are recording many of them, how are you managing those okay. in order for the computational efficiency that you talk? Could you elaborate a little bit on that? Okay. So uh, in, uh, in this particular case, uh, the memory uh, didn't pose uh, a problem because uh, the largest instance we use is 7,000 uh, variables. So, so we can have a vector we have. So we, we just have a vector of length uh, 7,000, for example. So it's not so, so large. Okay. Uh, of course, if you, if you need stuff, if you, you need record, other informations in a two dimensional or three dimensional matrix, or in this case, such may be, uh, may be uh, troublesome. Uh, but in our case, for example, the, uh, the memory, um, how they call it, the frequency, the frequency of the memory. So the frequency of memory is just a vector. So the vector for each variable, we have the numbers, so, so the integer vector for each, for each uh, variable. We stock the number of the records, the number of times this variable has been flipped through the integer. So there should be no problem. So but in the, the case of the elite solutions, how many of them are you reporting for instance? Just to have an idea. That can be can be several, several I mean, I don't know, I cannot remember mm -hmm. so maybe 20 or 100 okay. or, or, or 1,000 if you like. So 
So what are the capabilities of uh, exact solver like uh, Cplex uh, for yeah. this uh, problem? Yeah, in fact, for, for the for the for, for, for these problems, uh, uh, I, I cannot remember exactly. Uh, but for for one set of instances, for the set uh, partitioning, for the instances from the set partition problem, uh, Cplex uh, worked very well. Yeah, but in, in general. But, yeah, but very well. <laughs> Uh, until until some limits, of course. Until some yeah, limits. Yeah, yeah I, 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 did, I didn't pay attention in uh, in recent years about the progresses. I, I, I think I heard some. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. For example, uh, in fact, uh, among the benchmark instances, you have also nine nine instances from the first problem. So for these instances, C uh, plus have been applied in, in the past. So they obtain some some optimal solution, yeah. but uh, among these solutions, uh, uh, among these nine instances, there are three three instances that cannot be solved to optimality. Yeah, but, uh, let us say if I give you a problem of size uh, one hundred, let us say whatever one, one. Uh, can C plex can solve uh, this problem, uh, I, or uh, you are not sure? But, uh, I, I, think, I think there are there are instances that can be solved to optimality, but there are yeah, yeah. also other instances, even small size instances that cannot be solved. Yeah, but the small size, so you have no idea. No idea. Okay. No. And, uh, in fact, this problem is uh, ubiquitous. So you can have, uh, for instance, uh, traffic safety problems that can be transformed into. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, can you tell us how to do that? Uh, so or to transform uh, okay. to the, uh, uh, so ask the question to carry <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah yeah in fact i didn't I, I didn't really work on the on problem transformations oh, okay. yeah. but uh, uh carry and uh, uh and fred they have they, uh, they are among the researchers in the world okay as uh, so the first researchers because they are they are interested in this problem for a long time and they have developed the initial studies on the problems. They have developed uh, several, uh, I mean, uh, reformulation of several uh, classical problems. For example, I know SPP or graph coloring and the independent set and so on. They have they have made a number of uh, studies on this. And, and in the past, they have also read, uh, written a number of papers by by using the general, uh, yeah, in fact, for people uh, who use uh, who use CPEX, for example, you can consider you you uh, you, 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 you uh, in the same in the same way as linear programming. In fact, it's a general model. Yeah. The general model. So you, so if you have a solver for this model, you can apply a solver. So all I presented can be considered as general solvers, but the heuristic solvers. Um, if there are one day there, there will be a exact solver like like uh, Cplex, like uh, Cplex combined with all the printing, cutting, current generation, all these techniques inside a solver, the kind of the solvers will solve many problems. And your biography was so that you were also interested in national aid. So you see the link between uh, these techniques with the many circles, the local movements, and the learning of the good movement to the local employees. Yeah, okay. So learning, learning is a very, 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 so I, I, I prefer to use a the word inform, inform the moves or inform the operators. Um, of course, uh, in recent years, uh, among all of us here, we know that there is a, a trend because machine learning is a very hot today. Deep learning is very hot. And uh, many, many researchers in the area of operational research um, again, um, those learning techniques are very various learning techniques, not not only learning, also re reinforcement learning, 
from learning automata and a uh, similar learning practice to uh, recently we have done some study on um, uh, Monte, uh, Monte Carlo research, for example, compared with uh, this new uh, packet replicas. So there are many on uh, um, as all uh, directions that can be can be tested. Uh, I cannot say which learning techniques is the best for <laughs> uh, for 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 a particular problem, but uh, there are certainly many things. To, I don't know if you can answer your question whether I we need to make questions. So. <laughs> Thank you very much.